Okay, Bill, I've seen your beautiful dog, Madison, and I have two beautiful golden retrievers here in my office. I'm not sure where, oh, there's Palmer. There's Palmer. And uh, this, the first one that uh, the George showed you is my puppy. And we did can training on him, and can training is fantastic. The dogs hate the evil can. And what you do is you put some coins in there, and then you tape them in. And so whatever it is that you want to train your dog out of, and if you look at, look at Hudson's behavior right now, he's, he's not, come here boy, come here. He is not enjoying even knowing that I have the can in my hand. <laughs> I know it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. So what you do whenever somebody comes to your home and you want to practice this is have somebody come to the door, knock on the door, and when they enter your home or you open the door for them, you take the can and you slyly throw it at the dog's feet. And it will startle him. And he will stop jumping on people because he'll think that every time he does that the evil magical can will fall from the sky and scare him. And I guarantee, I, I live by the can training, so I hope it works for you. Good luck. How would you drop the can? Do you do it? I just, I would either throw it, I might drop it, I might push it off the counter. Any way to get, I might just do that. And, well, you saw what Hudson did when I just shook it. He, he, but he's used to the can training, so he doesn't like it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, any, any way to make the noise. You, if you shake the can and the dog responds, then that's all you need to do is shake the can. So the other training tip is when somebody comes to the door, you give your dog a place. So don't allow the dog to beat you to the door. That is your space. So when you go to let that person in, you should have already taken your dog and set them and, and given them a sit command or a lay command and marked that, that place. So you tell them good place, good stay, and you leave them there and you make them stay while you open the door. And then once the people come in the door, you've got to keep them from, from moving forward. So you still have to command your space. So you continue. It's a bit of a pain at first because then you have to continue sometimes to push the dog back because he's going to want to push into your space. Um, every time you go to the door, if you, if you take him and command him away from your space, that is more helpful in you being able to control if he jumps on people when they come in the house. So.